My friends, welcome to this chess video and um, we're going to do a very, very short video, hopefully, hopefully. And it's a game that someone allegedly dreamt when they were sleeping. And the story goes that way back in the day, Boris Spassky was giving an interview for Chess and Life Review. Portrait of a World Champion. And he was asked by the interviewer, do you dream about chess? And Spassky said, only once. I was ill at the time. I caught a cold after a game with Averbach. And in my fever, I dreamt that I saw an enormous rook in front of me. And this rook went from Queen Rook 1 to Queen Bishop 1. I suppose that's um, A1 to C1. And it looked huge and terrible. But I have never dreamt up a complete game as Bronstein has done. And this game that Bronstein allegedly dreamt when he was sleeping was published in the August 1961 Chess Review. And this is the game that we're going to check out right now. Begins with d4, knight f6. C4, E6, Knight C3, Bishop B4 is a Nimzo Indian. Bishop to G5, H6, Bishop to H4, Queen E7, Knight to F3, and D6, which seemingly loses a piece. I wonder if you can see how. Well, Queen to A4, check. Knight to c6 and d5, attacking the pinned piece. As you can see, e takes d5, c takes d5, and it looks as though the piece is gone, but black has this wonderful move. Queen to e4. Now can you see what black is threatening? Yep, you can see that the best, if it takes this, then the queen is gone. So black is setting, bishop takes on c3. White breaks the pin with knight to d2. Queen takes h4, d takes c6. And now white has two threats. Pawn takes on b7 or a3, heading the pinned piece because as you can see, well this bishop is pinned to the queen. Well, white castle, sorry black castles. a3, heading the pinned piece, and knight to g4. Problems on f2. G3, Queen F6, A takes B4, and White grabs, grabs the poisoned loot, as we say, and stacks that bishop into his swag bag. Queen takes F2, King to D1, 
And now can you find the killer move? As Matto would say. <laughs> can you find the killer move? Well, it's very, very difficult to find. I'll give you some clues, my chess friends. You would see that Black would love to bring this knight to e3. Whoops. And after the king is forced to move to c1, to bring the queen into e1. The problem for black is, is that white can simply interpose either the knight on d1 or the queen on d1. And therefore, black would love to get one of the defenders of the d1 square out of the way. And he therefore dreamt up the beautiful b5 trying to get rid of one of the defenders of the d1 square queen to b3 and then bishop to e6 taking the queen off this diagonal here where it defends the d1 square once the queen is moved off now black can play Knight to e3. King is forced to c1. And now we see the point of both b5 and bishop to e6. After queen to e1, there's only one move which imposes itself, or sorry, interposes itself. Knight to d1. And do you see the killer move? Yep. Queen takes on d1. Checkmate. So very, very interesting game. But imagine dreaming a game like that up when you were sleeping. Well, is that what actually what happened? Well, afterwards, David Bronstein himself gave the instance where after he gave a lecture in the Shigorin Chess Club, he told the audience about a game that he was thinking about before he played it against Victor Korchnoi. And he was not sleeping at the time. He was just thinking about it in his mind. But he used the expression chess dream. And he said that later he read in a book that he had seen this variation during his sleep. Just goes to show my chess friends, you cannot believe everything you read in chess literature. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the game. I apologise to uh, Mato and his fans. It's not an attempt to be a parody of Mato. It's simply um, a little short video looking at some games. So thank you very much, my chess friends, for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it and I wish you well with your own chess. Take care. And goodbye. You are just a dreamer, and I am just a dream. You could have been anyone to me before that moment you touched my lips. That perfect feeling when time just slips away.